Well, fire officials also hosted a community meeting in Sherman County to update residents on what's happening with this fire. Our Jennifer Dowling is live at the Grass Valley Pavilion. That meeting wrapped up about an hour or so ago, a little bit more than that. Jennifer, what did they have to say? There was a big showing at the pavilion today, and I don't know if you saw me there turning my head just a little bit. Some of the questions that were being asked were about wildlife, and I just saw some deer over my shoulder. They disappeared now, or Ellen would show them to you. Well, she might try to get a, a, a shot. We had a doe and a fawn walking through town. Uh, people just worried about the wildlife. Well, it seems the wildlife has come to town because there's now some protected areas uh, due to some good progress on this fire. Still at today's meeting, some people were nearly brought to tears at the thought that they could have lost their house during this fast moving fire. Residents here uh, thanked farmers and firefighters alike for their hard work. As we reported previously, four homes were lost in this fire, along with other structures. Some homeowners said without the help from farmers who plowed portions of their fields under, there would have been a lot more losses here. Now, and some of our uh, neighbors right behind us plowed, plowed their wheat in instead of waiting to harvest it um, just so that they could have a defensive perimeter around the city. And the farmers, oh my gosh, without them disking stuff in, we just don't have enough resources. So they're a big part of it. And all the people that came from Tualatin and Portland and everywhere, just thank you. Now, representatives from the Department of Agriculture were on hand to talk about documenting property losses and filing insurance claims as well. Some practical information coming out of this meeting. A representative from the BLM also told members of the community that the sections of the Deschutes River that had been closed were now back open for recreation, though he added that people should be cautious of falling trees or rocks in the steep areas. Our residents also voiced their concerns about east winds whipping up tonight. Well, fire crews are going to be, of course, keeping an eye on things and they're hoping that uh, if any winds come up, it will blow the fire back into the black, the areas that are already burned. But of course, you never know. So they're going to keep watching and be vigilant throughout the evening. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Jennifer. And we got somebody here who might have a good idea of what we